Hello YouTube, and welcome to yet another edition of The Mock Show. Here is the new and improved Corroder 2.0, uh, Triple Changer. Um, I started him off in car mode, because he is still kind of deadly to get into it. Uh, but he looks quite a bit better, I'd say. And he's nowhere near as fiddly as he was getting into car mode, thanks to a few modifications I made. Um, some of the modifications that carry over to, well, from actually, robot mode, and they carry over into pretty much every other mode. Crap. Um, sorry, he's kind of hard to hold from the bottom and everything to stay in the bottom. Anyways, he actually looks like a scary monster race car now. Uh, still, the wheels do spin. Same on the front, so you can't really tell. Um, the crap. and there goes the screen. Right, uh, the blaster arm still has its range of mobility, and he's trying to transform. Um, anyways, I guess I'll just get right onto it then. Um, firstly, pull off this little bar right here. Which I used to cheat to make the freaking arms stay together uh, in race car mode. Um, right. Anyways, uh, pull that foot out. On both of them. Bring this a little closer. Uh, just straighten that. That. Now pull the legs out. And there goes the foot. Uh, try not to detach the foots, but uh, twist these legs around to where this turquoise bit, or whatever color you want to call that, is on the outside. Now, here is one of the major changes because the biggest issue I had with my own design was how flipping spindly and tall he was and how he did not want to stay in pose. His, he just had all sorts of issues with his arms and it was really irksome. Um, anyways. Oh crap, I forgot how I did that. Um, Uh, anyways, sorry, long, long, long day. I've been feeling kind of under the weather, so yeah. Uh, his elbows now actually move around. They move around, and he has double jointed elbows, and he has a much better range of motion. And what? Just go off again. Um, was, I'm gonna need that for spider mode, otherwise, I just leave it down there. Uh, So yeah, he has a much better articulation of the shoulders and of the uh, elbows. And I'm not done transforming him yet, sorry. Uh, pull this gun bit off. So that's no longer attached at his hip. So no more really weird jokes. Um, well, no more am ammo. I have no idea how many people watch this. Um, pulled these legs up here. Um, I have no idea what happened to the other one of these, so right now he's just using a uh, rock she blade bit. Now, here is just get this bit right here to accordion up, and now he looks quite a bit closer to the original, at least in profile body form. He's now more hunched over, he's not scrawny and gangly, weird looking, and he just looks a little bit more like his old self, as well as much as he can in this. And that is not that yeah. Anyways, um, I still need to work with the feet, because there's still a little 
pod. Um, yeah. He can still use the bus cell blades. He can even uh, excuse me, rotate the at the shoulder, just tuck the arm off or whatever, and switch to where the bus cell blade is. He can. So yeah, fun, fun stuff. Uh, destructive as ever. But anyways, and. I guess I'll just switch into spider mode. So. Um, but no, actually, I mentioned that I changed all of this connection right in here. All of this is different now. This is no longer. Uh, this is connected directly to the torso bit um, instead of it being angled like that, 90 degrees from what it was, and attached to some um, random thing that I don't know the name of. Um, the arms are attached differently. It's no longer a uh, oh, not the viscerac. The um, I forget what they're called. They uh, they were the if the enemy of Metru Nui, and I can't think of their name. Um, they were the ones before the Hordika, and. Uh, well, that was the total one. It was the ones before the Viserac were. So I don't remember the name. Um, but they had the twirly bit on the back and their arms went like that. Um, anyways, instead of having the hit piece for that for the arms, it's now uh, a lot more complicated, actually. It's some nice little ball joints in there. And uh, it just works so much better. Um, anyways, I'm kind of went Uh, the legs for the spider mode are pretty much the same as they were. Um, and to get them there, it's pretty much the same as well. So, not much to comment on there. Uh, oh, right. See? Sorry, like I said, long, long day. Kind of tired, haven't been exactly feeling the best past couple of days, anyways. So, yeah. Here's that, too. Uh, oh, at least I'm nowhere near as tired as I was in my last video. I watched that recently, and it's like, am I drunk? Kind of drunk in that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not that bad. Right now, so I'm just glad at least. Uh, I probably sound awful. I'm kind of battling some sinus issues right now and some upper respiratory crap. Uh, now, the thing is about the spider mode is that all the leg links, some of them are the same. The back two, now the front two, however, are a bit different. Um, however, it still works. Oh, unfortunately, he's less of a jumping spider and more of a crab spider now. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a crab spider is, go look it up on Wikipedia. Although, I really don't recommend Wikipedia. Um, anyways, Truth by Consensus Eva. Um, Right, rotate that bit. And for any of this that I've done off camera, I do apologize. Like I said, I am tired. But after this, I'm probably just going to go to bed for the evening, uh, night, whatever. It's after midnight right now, in fact, uh, as I record this. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to throw this up online on Thursday when I get back from school. Though the one downside is that the abdomen is a little uh, further up, so you can't really distinguish between abdomen and cephalothorax. Yes, that's right. And uh, spiders have a cephalothorax, not a he a separate head and thorax. That's whatever. Um, I don't know how many of these people have taken biology courses and were forced to learn that. Um, anyway.
anyways. Uh, so. so yeah. Uh, slot legs are a little longer, all four of them, but pretty much same articulation in the head and everything. Uh, the main difference is that he no longer has the that two point field power source attached. I haven't exactly uh, tried finding a place to attach that yet, so yeah, screw it. Um, oh, I forgot to show that he holds this in uh, the crap, the robot mode. That's it. Well, I'm not gonna bother with that since I'm 10 minutes in, and I just transformed him. I will have uh, attached this bit back to uh, back to him and this is still attached back here so yeah um, so it goes right there so he can still shoot deadly spears with his butt um, I don't know or point it up and shoot it like a tank in the air whatever uh, anyways um, well, I'm only 11 minutes in, so I think I'm going to introduce this new character. Uh, it's kind of a self-mod, kind of, sort of, not really, but this is my way of inserting myself into the, uh, still, uh, the zombionical story. Um, yeah. This odd little guy. Um, it seems that my best random bot work uh, is when I'm actually just randomly just messing around, and then I eventually refine it like I did with uh, uh, Ka, uh, um, who looks really awesome now, and uh, I've been diddling with this guy. Uh, for a bit now. Um, he now has uh, proper shoulder articulation. It, it's kind of weird. It's You can see that he's really just a scrap bot. Um, but anyways, hips, upper thigh swivel, um, ball jointed. Hips and knees and ankles and pretty much everything's on ball joint as far as the torso goes. And then there's his backpack, which uh, I'll get to in here in a second. No elbows, unfortunately, but the gun does pop off, and the gun actually stores on the backpack. So, yeah, kudos for that. Um, he's, I guess, a bounty hunter. I'm not entirely certain. I haven't really come up with a story for this guy. I didn't come up with a name for him. But uh, these bits, silver bits, can store either up like I had them, or they can store down like this, or like this. Personally, I like this version the best because then he looks a little more insect-like, um, because those kind of look like wings like that. And well, since it is his jetpack, that does make sense. Um, he has a flamey sword with a chain. If I had a uh, double socket uh, piece, I would just detach the sword and handle and show that he can swing it around on the chain. So yeah, um, fun little tactic there. And by the way, doing something like that is incredibly dangerous. And it just hurts when you hit yourself even when you have a boken attached to the end of the chain. Yeah, uh, just take my word on that. Um, right, so I'll transform his jetpack here and really quick. It just goes like that. These twirl around and out, and these uh, are all on swivel joints. And these flip up and like that. And there's his jetpack. So, yeah. So I was thinking maybe something along the lines of an anagram for Boba Fett, but I couldn't really think of anything all that great. Uh, oh, right. 
Now, since he is part of this uh, storyline, um, I actually kind of earthworm gem this guy. Uh, that probably tells some of you how old I am. And for the rest of you, you're probably wondering who the hell is earthworm gem. Uh, Google it. Anyways, basically, and yeah, right there in the weak spot, head pops up. Yeah, this is a power suit because this guy doesn't have any arms or legs of his own, really. Well, he has these itty bitty little legs on the sides of his uh, worm like torso and his gigantic head. So he uses all these little itty bitty legs to operate the suit that he's in. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, Good luck, good building, and goodbye. This is Gary Coffey, signing off. Have fun. I'm going to bed.